Okay, Eagle Nation, it is officially draft week, and we already got Adam Schefter saying how he's calling around looking to move up. Plus, Ocho Cinco says Devontae Smith ain't skinny Batman no more. He came up 20 pounds. That's not all. A.J. Brown trolling the Philadelphia media perfectly, and the Eagles showing interest in this safety in the second round. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast, and today we got a lot to get into. But before we do that, Eagle Nation, can I ask y'all for a quick favor? Help your boy out. Hit that like, subscribe if you are new, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss the videos. So Eagle Nation tweeted that Chad Ochocinco says Devontae Smith has been in the weight room bulking up this offseason and is weighing around 190 pounds right now. His exact quote, I guarantee you, when you see him this year, you're going to be like, God dang, boy, you've been working. He's about 190. I kid you not. This was said on the nightcap with him and Shannon Sharp. Smitty always looked up to Chad Ochocinco, so I'm guessing they've been in contact and he's been seeing them. And a buck 90 for the Slim Reaper, Skinny Batman? Sheesh. AJ Brown's been talking about he hears the disrespect. There's no disrespect as it pertains to Devontae Smith, but he's quietly letting it be known 2024 is going to be his season. Speaking of A.J. Brown, I love this. Netflix tweeted, The greatest roast of all time, Tom Brady will be live on Netflix on May 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern, hosted by Kevin Hart, who's a Philly fan and a funny dude, with an all-star lineup of surprise roasters. No Brady rule, no pads, no mercy. A Philly comedian roasting Brady live? Gotta see it. However, A.J. Brown quote tweeted it by saying, "Uh Uh-oh, Kevin Hart is working with Tom Brady. He wants to be a Patriots fan. Simply trolling because once he changed his profile pic to Tom Brady, everybody said, he wants to go to the Patriots. I love it. Moving on to some draft news that was talked about this morning. John Clark tweeted, Eagles GM Howie Roseman has been calling other teams about moving up in the first round of the NFL draft and teams believe he's interested in getting a cornerback. This is according to the one and only Adam Schefter. To me, it would be breaking news if Howie Roseman was calling around trying to trade back in the draft and or stay at 22 for the simple fact we talked about it. Four of the last five drafts, the Eagles moved up to get Devontae Smith. The Eagles moved up. They did move back, but then they eventually moved back up. Same with Jordan Davis. We moved up, not a lot, but a couple spots to make sure he was available. And even with Jalen Carter, we only moved up one spot, but it was necessary because there were other teams calling Chicago saying, listen, we want Jalen Carter, so the Eagles had to move up. When they identify a person they really want, they move up. It might not be 10 spots, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever it takes to get the guy they want. As you can see, the Eagles are cited on Twitter. They tweeted, it's draft week with Howie Roseman front and centered. So I got to ask you a question. We know the possibility of moving up is legit. Whether it be for a cornerback, could be a smokescreen or not, we will see in a couple days. If it was for a corner, Quinion Mitchell out of Toledo, size, speed, physicality, or Terry and Arnold, one of the last products of a Nick Saban defense for Alabama, physical, talented, and confident. I feel like uh, Brian Dawkins, Deion Sanders, guys like that were born to play football, and I'm one of them. Who y'all taking? Let me know in the comment section, Eagle Nation, and drop the muscle emoji. Remember, this guy's not a rookie, but he came on strong at the end of last season. Cornerback Keely Ringo, who got high reviews from Big Play Slay when we had him on the channel. He talked about him needing to get used to the NFL early, but as the season went on, you could see the talent, the size, speed, and physicality can't be matched. And he pretty much said, give this man a little time, and he's going to be legit. Jake Rabati tweeted his stats, and there's not a lot of them because he didn't come on into the end of the season. Two games started, he allowed five catches out of nine attempts, which is 56% catch rate, 61 yards allowed on him, one touchdown, an interception, a pass breakup, and a 74.1 passer rating allowed. Again, we don't have a huge sample size, only two games, but from everything Slay said to how we saw him play at the end of the season and the work he's putting in in the offseason, 
whether Bradbury makes a comeback or not, Isaiah Rodgers gets reinstated or not, the Eagles give in and finally draft a cornerback early. I'm still high on Keely Ringo when I think he's going to compete with whomever is trying to get CB2. As for the question, Quinya Mitchell or Terion Arnold, Jake Rabati also tweeted that he's told that Alabama cornerback Terion Arnold had a spectacular top 30 visit with the Philadelphia Eagles earlier this week. We talked about the visit. I just showed you again him comparing himself to Brian Dawkins. But to hear the week of the draft that he had a spectacular visit, and now these smoke screens and or true reports that the Eagles want to move up to get a cornerback, this could be a legit possibility. However, I'm not going to act like the Eagles haven't been looking at O-line, D-line. So come Thursday, April 25th, I'll be live. LB should be here. Gate City, Philly Fresh. It should be a big party come through. Another report per James Simon, the Eagles and Lions are interested in drafting Georgia safety Javon Bulliard, a source said. Now, this wouldn't be with pick number 22, but Javon Bulliard, one of the best safeties in the draft. I like Tyler Newbin as well. But if he's sitting there with one of our second round picks, 50 or 53, I think the Eagles might have to pull the trigger there too. Not a cornerback, but a secondary piece. I know some of y'all are tired of targeting Georgia players, but at the end of the day, this guy would fit in in Philadelphia perfectly and would make the safety position very interesting with C.J. Garner-Johnson, Reed Blankenship, Cindy Brown, and now Javon Bouliard. One thing that has been interesting since we get getting closer to the draft, there have been more reports saying the Eagles could take a wide receiver early. First round, which I really do doubt, but even as early as the second, I had a receiver in the second just because of all the reports coming out. I don't want them to do it. I don't think they have to do it. I think you can get a good receiver in the fourth round. Brendan Rice, Jalen McMillan, someone like that who can play the slot. However, smokescreen or not, that's been building up too. Like I said, man, with Howie Roseman and all these leaked reports with social media, I mean, what are we doing? Cornerback sounds good. Offense alignment, defense alignment, now wide receiver. I mean, there's so many ways how we could go. I think we're just going to have to wait and see, to be honest. Since we talked about Keely Ringo not being a rookie, but could make an impact in the 2024 season, so can Nolan Smith, who we just drafted last year in the first round, but with Hassan Reddick and BG and Josh Sweat, he couldn't get on the field. And Howie Roseman and Nick Sirianni, have already said they regret it. This is Brandon Graham on Nolan Smith coming into 2024. The confidence. You can see his confidence growing, knowing that it's more on him this year. I think he's letting the doubt fuel him. I want to get him where he wants to go. Like I told him, take it one day at a time. You can't worry about what people are saying because when you start to perform, everything will change. This is per Dave Zagaro's article talking to Brandon Graham tweeted by Jake Rabati at the NFL. Call me bias all you want, but I do believe guys like Keely Ringo and Nolan Smith are really going to step up in 2024. And as high as I am on Keely Ringo, y'all know I've always been high on Nolan Smith, just watching his tape, his quick twitch, speed, the things that the Eagles like. And I do believe he's going to get more time this season. It won't start out a lot, but when he starts performing and he starts being consistent, maybe he takes a little bit more of a role that's bigger than BG. Maybe he relieves a Josh Sweat more than we think or a Bryce Huff if he can't live up to his big contract. I just know Nolan Smith is going to be a factor on this D-line. I would bet my bottom dollar. Lastly, I just want to talk about the Dallas Cowboys' downfall. Dak Prescott really might be leaving. At one of his last press conference, he said some things that Cowboy fans didn't like. NFL Rumors tweeted, Cowboys' Dak Prescott said he doesn't fear playing elsewhere after 2024 with this future uncertain. And I know he has a no-trade clause, but the Cowboys ain't going to pay him. Maybe he just says, okay, trade me, and it could happen at the draft. There's been speculations all around Dak Prescott leaving the Cowboys. Plus, they got to pay C.D. Lamb. Plus, they got to pay Micah Parsons. I love it. With all that being said, I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. Do your boy a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss the videos. We'll be live for the draft. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section. I love hearing from you, especially anything you want to talk about as it pertains to the draft. Laughing at the Cowboys. Drop the muscle emoji. 
We out.